If you want to build a grammar lesson that you can then print out and give to your students or share with them via the internet, then this is the perfect lesson for you. I'm going to show you a feature in ChatGPT that I don't think a lot of language teachers know about. And this will work in multiple languages. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you the feature, show you how it works. I'm going to build up a whole grammar lesson that I could then present to my students. And I'll also show you, once you've made that lesson, how you could share it with the students. And there are various options. This is actually going to be quite a quick video. I really hope you like it. And if you do, please like it, please share it. Please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Now I'm going to use the free example of ChatGPT and what I want you to do is to log into your ChatGPT account and then click here. Come down to more and I want you to choose Canvas. Now I'm going to quickly explain to you what the Canvas does and why it is so useful to us as language teachers. So what Canvas is, is basically like a canvas in painting. You can keep adding and adding and adding to the same document. In other words, you can start by saying, can you write a text for me with gap fills in the past simple? And then afterwards you can say, can you now highlight for me 10 key words connected with that text? And can you put that above the gap fill activity and can you put it in the same document and it will add it and then you can carry on painting and painting and adding more and more but the important thing to remember is you haven't got to cut and paste anything everything is added in to the same document and this makes it super easy because at the end you can simply save that as a pdf so no copying no cut and pasting or no copying and simply at the end, you print it out or share it with your students. So let me take you through this process. And it does work really well, particularly if we decide to speak, you can dictate to ChatGPT. And that's what I'm going to do. Watch this. When you dictate to ChatGPT, you just click on this button here. You don't have to speak in English. You should find that it can respond to multiple languages. So you could be speaking in Spanish and asking it to produce something in English, for example. Let me just give an example. Can you write a short story for me in the past simple about a boy who visits London? Uh, he goes to see Big Ben. He goes and eats Chinese food in Chinatown. He takes a red bus and travels around the city. He visits Buckingham Palace and goes for a walk in one of the parks. Can you make this for a student of A2 level of English? So quite a low level, pre-intermediate level English student learning to speak the language. And now once I've stopped the recording, I click on this button here. and off it goes. Now, this is where people get a little bit confused. Watch this, and I'm gonna show you a really simple example. I'm gonna click on the button again. Can you add eight comprehension questions? Can you put these underneath the reading text, and can you add them to the same document? Click on the tick, and send. So. It'll Click on that first, then send. Okay, so you've got to do two things. And now we get the text and suddenly we get the comprehension questions underneath. So immediately notice that it kind of repaints the whole thing. So now instead of just the text on its own, we get the text plus the questions. Now let's carry on building this up and I'm going to show you another trick now. In a minute, we're going to add some grammar activities. But what I'm going to do first is click here can you add above the text before the students read the text a list of 10 key words that the students might need to study before they read the text now notice i've asked for this to be added above and this is a big difference when you're working with the canvas you can tell it exactly where you want to add everything so suddenly we've now got our lovely text 
our keywords at the top. Notice here we've got our keywords at the top to help the students understand the text. Now we've got the text. Now we've got the questions. Okay, now what we could do now is perhaps generate a gap fill activity where the students have to rem have to go back and try to remember the words. Obviously, again, you could put this in a completely different order. So I'm going to say now, can you rewrite the text for me? Exactly the same text, but can you remove all the verbs in the past? And can you put those verbs in a box above the text so the students can find the verbs and put them into the text. And now hopefully it's going to do that. So again here, let's see if it works. So we get now, now one thing absolutely brilliant and it's rewritten the story with the gaps, but I didn't ask it to add it. I'm going to say, can you put that? And I'm going to write this for you. Can you add this to the same document? Can you put this below the comprehension questions? Okay, so literally I want the students to kind of go back and to remember the text so and see if they can remember the verbs and where they go. So now hopefully we've got our full lesson. Okay, first of all, we've got our words, then we've got our text. Then we've got our comprehension questions. Then we've got the missing verbs and the students have to complete it. Okay, so I could go on building this up and up and up. And this is the power of using the canvas. Okay, really hope you're finding the video useful so far. And if you are, please click on the like button because it really helps to boost my YouTube channel. And of course, share the video with other teachers. You know, you could even ask for a grammar explanation, say, of the past simple, and then have that added to the top of the document. Remember, you've got to remind ChatGPT that you want it in the same document. Sometimes what it will do is produce an exercise and not put it in the document. But as long as you keep telling it, put it in the document, it will put it in the same document and it will build up and up and up. Now there is actually another amazing feature in ChatGPT which we can use for speaking activities and developing students' fluency. And again, this works in lots of other languages. And I'm gonna put that video on the screen now if you wanna watch it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this Canvas idea a little bit further and I'm just gonna show you a few more ideas and we're gonna get uh, ChatGPT to generate a grammar explanation for us and we're gonna add that into the grammar lesson. It's always worth looking at everything that you generate in ChatGPT and I found for example that it often makes mistakes when I'm learning grammar in Polish. Remember you have at the top of the document the option to copy, edit and download and we'll be looking at this in a minute but the edit button if you click on it you can literally just edit straight into the document so it makes it really easy and then you can click here to stop editing okay so that makes it easy if you do need to check anything but let me now show you this trick again of adding something to the top of the document remember you can paint anywhere can you add a clear and quick explanation of how we form the past verbs in english appropriate for students at level a2 and can you add this grammar explanation to the top of the canvas so that the students can read the grammar explanation before they begin to do the exercises click on the tick and then send and hopefully now it's going to paint that into the top of the document we're going to get a simple grammar explanation now one thing to keep in mind is that there it is i don't know why it said failed to generate because it's generated it fine here i can see i'd have to obviously look through and just check whether or not i'm happy with that explanation but again i just want to make the point that you can add things everywhere now keep in mind that i'm using the free tool so i'm presuming there is a limit and I must admit, I am seriously thinking of paying for ChatGPT because I'm using it more and more.
Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, then come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos to show teachers and students how to use technology in their language teaching and their language learning. And there's loads of content on the website. Also, if you're a language teacher, think about signing up to the newsletter, as well as getting updated on all the latest videos. There's a free 14 part course where I basically highlight some of the key technologies that we're using in language teaching. And many of the tools that I highlight are completely free. Also, if you were interested in having more training with me, then join me on Patreon. You get free videos every month with no advertising, and you get the chance to meet me online as well for an hour's training. We do an hour's training every month with the Patreon group where we actually work with the technology so you really learn to use them well. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Okay, one final thing. Notice once you've done your document, you can click on download. You have various options. PDFs are always nice, they look good, particularly if you're gonna print them out, they're often nicely formatted. If we click on that, it generates the PDF. There it is, opened up on the screen, and we can hand that out. Now, in reality, we're probably gonna to wanna to come in and do a little bit of editing. Sometimes, if you wanna do the editing, I'm just gonna close that down a minute, the best thing is to do it as a Microsoft Word document. Most people have Word on their computers, simply because when you open it here, you can enable an editing and you could do some additional editing here, like give it a better title, etc. Uh, you can see the power of doing the way I'm working because it just saves so much time. It means there's no copying and pasting. I haven't done any copying and pasting at all. So if you were interested in studying a bit more with me, then obviously the first thing you could do is sign up to the newsletter. And don't forget, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get that free mini 14 part course, which highlights some of the key technologies that teachers and students are using to learn and study languages. Um, the second thing you can do, particularly if you're a teacher, is to join me on Patreon. Now, if you join me on Patreon, you will get three videos a month, and these videos are exclusive to Patreon. I often cover technologies that I don't even cover on YouTube. These are really for teachers, and there are lots of practical ideas about using technology in your teaching and learning. But not only that, you'll actually meet me once a month live online and it's a chance for us to actually practice using some of these technologies. Now, if you can't make the live sessions, of course, I record them for all my Patreons. Now, at the moment, there's a special offer as well. If you join Patreon, which is only $6 a month, and you can leave at any time, you will also get access to all of the videos that I've already put up on Patreon, which is two years worth of content. The last thing that you can think of doing is joining me on my very popular course, which is called Technologies and Approaches to Blended, Hybrid and Teaching Online. It's very popular. I do that in conjunction with Niall. That's a six week course that includes six meetings with me online, as well as uh, lots of material that you have to work through and you have to build an e-portfolio. It's one of the most successful courses I've ever run. And again, that is exclusive for language teachers. Uh, you can click on the link below and get more information about that. Thank you very much. I'm gonna leave some videos on the screen now and some useful playlists that you might find helpful.